A Palestinian woman has been arrested in Israel for allegedly expressing support for terrorists on social media. Her case is the first after Israel passed a law to criminalize the so-called consumption of terrorist materials. Local police claim the woman's online status was pro-Hamas. Here is the moment she was apprehended. <laughs> Just moments later, her husband was also taken into custody. The, the suspects are among thousands of Palestinian citizens of Israel who have been arrested since the Hamas attack on October the 7th. Now, the Israeli parliament passed the controversial bill on Wednesday. According to the law, a person can be imprisoned for up to a year for simply viewing online content that the government deems pro-terrorists. Wow. The legislation also allows the Israeli Minister of Justice to designate organizations as terrorists. And we spoke with journalist and social activist Yusuf Haddad from Tel Aviv and Fatah activist uh, Samar Sinish Lawi from Jerusalem who gave us their opinion on new Israeli law. I will explain. The law is a very good law. The law is very, very simple. And the law is specifically are saying that anyone who, even I have materials of Hamas, even I have materials uh, that the, the ISIS Hamas has distributed, but I'm not going to be arrested because I am not supporting any terrorist activities. This is the most non-democratic law I ever had. That the, the ISIS Hamas has distributed, but I'm not going to be arrested because I am not supporting any terrorist activities. This is the most non-democratic law I ever have heard of. This is a law that kills the freedom of speech. It's a basic right. This comes in a state that claims democracy. So uh, how can you expect that people simply does not show the truth? But Samer, unfortunately, deliberately did not talk about the law because he knows that he is absolutely hypocrite. Think about it. What does he say about the Palestinian Authority who kill a journalist in the Palestinian Authority? You're not allowed to say what you need, what you want to say because you will end up in prison in the good case, but in the worst case, you are dead. And this is what the law is about. Anyone who posts on Instagram or on any social media that they're happy about what Hamas did is going in any country that they want to defend itself. I will accept this law to be fair if it punishes those who Israelis who are also celebrating what's happening of, of mass killing of innocent Palestinians, kids in Gaza. They are burning Gaza. What Israel is trying to copy Iran in uh, silencing all the voices that are criticizing it especially during this uh, war. Israel is, is racist and its laws are racist. And if there is a law that is racist, is, it cannot be seen as a fair law. This is only to shut the mouths of Palestinians. This is the reality. People are literally just twisting the facts. And as for the Arabs who actually incite, I am telling you as an Arab, I am 100% with the Israeli authority, with the Israeli police. And do you know that the majority of those people are arrested by the Israeli police who are Arab Israeli policemen? So don't let people fool anybody else. The partnership between Arabs and Jews in Israel is very strong, stronger than ever. And the extremists want to show that there is a division. No, there isn't. We are united together against liars and hypocrites like Samuel. We see terrible crisis that is happening in Gaza and Israel wants to silence it. Israel only wants people to do propaganda for Israel, to say that, uh, you know, uh, this is a self-defense. What self-defense that allows a, a, an army, the strongest in the Middle East, to commit such crimes against civilians? There you go, man. They cracking down. But hey, I want to say Shalom, Makim Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor this duty. How Hashem, how Shai, by Shem Rakat I'm allowed to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rule Will. Peace and blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Those in the gospel, by the Lord, the of Yahweh, by Shem Rakat Shai, wherever they may be. Oh man, this says Israeli passed social media law. A year in prison are found guilty of watching terrorist material online. And see, they like to use this T word here. They like to throw that around loosely, okay? Because if you're not pushing their paradigm or their agenda and you're disagreeing with the small hats, then they have the, the power and the influential power to some degree because fortunate the world is rising up against them, 
Okay, you got even other Edomites that's rising up in place of the Palestinians because they know that the small hats are the problem. Okay, so what Esau doing, he's losing his mind, man. And according to Revelation the 12th chapter, the scriptures say that Esau is gonna come down with great wrath. So it's his ultimate goal to lock up with or to, to disappear or out anybody that's coming against his new world order. Because you saw that the people were spazzing out on here, like, wait a minute, you got Hamas content everywhere. Like you can literally stumble upon the video by accident and not even attempt to watch it, but yet they will label you X, Y, and Z. And this is what I was mentioning earlier, uh uh on my transit that basically if you click on anything that's uh uh that's against anything that the elites are saying then they're gonna figure out a way to, to demonize you man okay and the guy was right he said this is a bunch of hypocrites because if you so-called israeli or you israelis i say it that way because you're not israelites but you're israelis okay which and they tell on themselves i mean just the fact that they call themselves you wish who's that they're not the israelites of the bible but if you so-called claim to be of a democratic government, then you're basically imp impinging or infringing on people's civil liberties to watch and say and do whatever the hell they want to do to some degree. OK, now let's just say this. If you watch a video with Hamas and the fact that the Hamas protesters are saying that, well, these people are behind the genocidal means because everybody knows that you, you know, that they didn't do it. You kicked it off. E. Okay, and we're not vouching for either side. Like, honestly speaking, we don't give a shit about any one of you because both of you are heathen, both of you are going in slavery. So let's just get that out there. Okay, we don't advocate for either one of you, but at the end of the day, you elites, you're just inherently evil, man. Okay, so let's just say if you're watching a video about the protesters and the fact that they've caused this, this unprecedented amount of damage and death and emotional trauma to these people, and you get penalized for that, Okay, but what's any fucking difference from watching a video on World War II in Pearl Harbor? What's the difference from watching Desert Storm? What's the difference of the Tuskegee Airmen? Isn't those acts of treason or, or the big T word that you are claiming to be against, but yet your own government has carried out several attacks on people or indigenous people of lands and, and, and through genocidal means, you've taken nations down out of sheer hate, man, and greed, but yet nobody is able to put that fucking title on you? That's sure that this man is a goddamn hypocrite, but the point I want to make is the fact that they're cracking down on these videos, man. And sooner than later, because a bunch of dumbass Israelite groups out there, okay, that's playing both sides of the fence, they're going to start demonizing our videos and making it seem like that we're speaking uh, uh, threats and basically being terrorists to society based on the narratives and the information we're bringing out. And this is a, 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 an attempt to neutralize the truth, okay? Because they don't give a fuck about Hamad. They don't care. They know that they don't care. That's that's smoke and mirrors. At the end of the day, they want to target the men of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai. And these videos will be banned sooner than later. And anybody that's speaking on anything that's dealing with the truth of the Bible, you will be locked away and possibly killed. Okay, we're coming to the time that our talker points will be illegal to speak on and they will deliberately out you, man. Okay, and certain talking points, they're gonna push certain legislation. It's going to be legal to, to, to kill a man of the Lord, man. And this is why we need your help shot. And this is why that standard will be lifted. Because they're literally, this, this is the start of it. If you can see where this is going, okay? Now, it's an article I have here. It says, Google to start deleting millions of inactive Gmail accounts in December. And we know that Gmail is directly tied to YouTube. Now, brothers, you have several channels that you may not upload to just as backup purposes. Because Esau, he's going gung-ho with the strikes. So therefore, you may have three or four dormant channels that's laying in the background that got content on it that he wants to take off. So my advice to you brothers is to log into Gmail, log in at least once or twice a month just to show some type of recent activity. That way they don't take your content, which they're going to do it eventually anyway. But uh, he's trying to out everything, man. He's trying to do away with this internet, with the truth, man. Okay, and I'm going to just read the first paragraph because, I mean, you get the point. It says the purge of inactive accounts also includes Google Photo Libraries, Google Calendar, and the Google Docs ar archives. And when you upload a video to YouTube through Gmail, it automatically backs up into your photo libraries. So they want to snatch all that because they don't want anything or anything remotely resembling the truth on these servers because they don't want people to get with what they're doing. But it's too late. The word has already went out, bro. So you can take all the videos you want. The word has went out. Okay, it's too late to do damage control at this point. Everybody knows that you're the devil. 
Everybody knows that them small headers are not Israelites. Everybody knows that you are responsible for global genocide, man. You're responsible for the 2020 ordeal. You're responsible for uh, World War II. Everybody knows this about you, Esau. So at this point, it is like, you might as well just take everything, you know? Because that's what you're going to do anyway. But it says, Google Vice President of Product Management, Ruth, uh, what's her name? Crescelli, which that sounds like a Slavic name, but who knows? I'm pretty sure she's a, a small hat. But it says, says the company is deleting accounts to reduce any vulnerabilities it has to bad actors, okay? And when you think of bad actors, this is talking about so-called perpetrators, men that still teaching the truth. It says the policy only applies to personal accounts, okay? And most brothers, um... It's all good. It happens. <laughs> but um, anyway, it says uh, to personal accounts. So most brothers that upload videos from their Gmail accounts is a personal account. It's not a business account. Though it may not be under a personal name, it's still an account that you personally tie to your email. Okay, so let's look up this individual here, Ruth. Uh, let me look up that real quick. Uh, let's look that up real quick. Because uh, we know small hats like to hide behind uh, corporations. They like to hide behind other people because everybody is waking up to who the hell these people are. So let's look up. Okay, Ruth, what's her name? Carcelli. And let's see, get some information on this woman. So let's look up Ruth. I'm pretty sure she got to be a small hat. But when you type her name, um, it's equated to Google. So let's look up her nationality. And I think they're doing this December 1st, by the way. And I'm pretty sure we can find more information on her. Uh, we can. I mean, you know, we, I'm pretty sure we can find a lot of information on this individual. Just pretty time consuming and I'm really pressed for time. But, uh, you know, and I know Jake's attention span is very short. So let's look up. Uh, Wikipedia. And it's not too much information we can find on her. But I'm pretty sure that's a lot of information out there. I just don't really have the means to go into it now. But I was trying to see if she was a small head, and I'm guarantee you she probably is. But nonetheless, they want to stop this truth from going out, and that's really the overall ordeal of it. Okay, so this is the famine of the world being ushered in subtly. So this is the book of Amos 8, and I'm going to start at verses um, 11. It says, Behold, the days come, says the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land. It says, Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but but of hearing the words of the Heavenly Father. And the main source of, 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 of this information coming out is through the internet, through the YouTube, okay? YouTube has been flooded with Israelite content going back to 2006, 2007, really when our apostles and elders uh, got on the scene, okay? Because I don't know no other group that pump as much content as the men of the Great Millstone. Okay, I could say alone the men of GMS is probably responsible for over 100,000 videos going out probably on a monthly basis okay just say if every brother did a video three days three videos a week five days a week seven days a week that's 21 videos in a week man you times that by 30 days you easily get over 200 something videos man and i'm talking about that's per brother okay so that's easily in the thousands of videos a month and they can't deal with the amount of truth coming out so they need to pass certain factors or legislation or certain laws to be justified when doing away with the civil freedoms because if they just say well look we're going to take your videos down because we don't like what you're saying that's impinging on your first amendment rights okay which you have the right to freedom of speech and freedom of religion they can't go that route so they have to come up with certain uh, uh events in the planet earth to be justified on calling those terroristic or treasonous acts so therefore they can pass certain laws to be justified on saying well we can't have this out here because this promotes that but see the gig is up bro Everybody is already catching on to what the fuck are you doing, man? All right, we know that you're caught out there. You're like a you're like a deer in the headlights, man. And you're caught and you're running scared. So you're gonna demonize and penalize and possibly kill people because you've been exposed for being a devil, man. Okay, and that's just the truth of the matter. 
And it reads here, it says, not a form of bread, but a thirst for water, okay. but of hearing the words of Yahweh so Shem, Yahweh Shem. Okay? And it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Heavenly Father, and shall not find it, man. Okay? Why? Because, hey, these videos are going to be taken off the air. Okay? Hey, you watch an Israelite video or any type of content, and hey, they can send the fucking internet police to your job or to your home and say, well, look, we accusing you or we have content of you watching this video with these particular guys saying this and this and that and we have you and we have your ip address which is violation of, of personal rights because for anything they should be tracking your content okay you should be able to browse the internet from the privacy of your own home but instead he's tracking everything man okay this is why they say uh certain websites like duck duck go allegedly they don't have a, a a tracker that they're tracking what you're watching but notice that YouTube is basically hooked through Google because Google is a public platform and it's easily traceable. You see? So that's the, the angle they're going to come at. Like that lady, they say you can get up to a year in jail for just watching a video, man. So we in them times, brothers, okay, that the famine of the word is getting ready to be a, a real reality. And those of you that's been playing games with the word of the Heavenly Father, all those of you that's been playing uh, games with the Heavenly Father, that's been playing games with... with with this word man not taking it serious you know scoffing and scorning hey this word is not going to be available all times man and one day you're going to be looking for the truth when you get in a repentant spirit and you ain't going to be able to find it okay you're going to be stuck between the name of the lord is it jesus christ is it jehovah or is it yeshua and the answer to that is is neither neither and you're going to find your way on a first class ticket to the spirit world through icbm nuclear missile fire man Okay, because the Lord is setting you people up perfect, man. He's setting you niggas up for the perfect fall. All the shit you talk, all the things you've said. The Lord, hey, they, hey the scriptures say every idle word, man. All right, and it says in that day, should the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. And it's talking about thirst of this word, okay, because the scriptures refer to this word as living waters, man. All right, and matter of fact, let's get that. This is the book of, uh, the book of John, St. John, the seventh chapter, and I'm going to start at verses 38. All right. And it reads here, it says, he that believeth on me, matter of fact, let's start at verse 37. It says, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahweh Shai stood and cried, saying, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Okay, and this is not talking about physical water, this is talking about the word of the Heavenly Father. Because when you're immersing yourself in this knowledge, it's like being replenished, it's like being hydrated. But when you go without, you're dehydrated, and we know the body dies from being dehydrated. And this is the reason why we're pumping out these videos to give you that fresh supply of alkaline water, man. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll give you pH water of 144 on the pH scale, man. Not none of this 6.5, 7.8 Fiji shit you get from the store. We're giving you real alkaline water, which is going to be conducive to death or life or death, man. Okay, you negate the water, the living waters, then you're going to die from dehydration. And it says, and he that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, man. Okay, and that's the point. We're speaking living waters through the words of our uh, Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, going back to the book of Amos 8, and it reads here, it says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, which is the people, and from north even to the east, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it, because there's going to be blocks on these things. And it says, In that day shall the fair virgins and fair men faint for thirst. And it's talking about this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. As the scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times, man. All right. So this is the book of Matthew 10, and I'm going to start at verses uh, 17. It says, But beware of men, for they would deliver you up to the councils, and they should scourge you in their synagogues, and you should be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you should speak, for it should be given you in that same hour what you should speak, okay? Because we know that it's going to come a point in time that certain men are going to be... Uh, uh, put on trial because of the testimony which they give man okay we know that's going to come a time of mass persecution upon the true believers of our lord yahweh shot okay and there's going to be a, a case of certain brothers and some sisters being martyred for the testimony which we have man. but this thing is getting ready to get real as we're seeing they're already imprisoning people for up to a year from just watching content on the internet how much more when you're actually speaking and believing the words of the heavenly father okay this word has no place in the new world order with esau so in order for this new world order to be fully established, he has to do away with all 
all opposition, which includes us, which is the biggest threat to the new world order, brothers. So, hey, they're going to start making attempts on our lives. They're going to start harassing brothers. They're going to start coming to brothers' jobs. They're going to start painting you uh, in, a, in a bad image to the public. And people are going to want to do something to you, man, because of the words that you speak based on a false narrative that this man is putting out there because he's the one that's fucking doing wickedness, man. Okay? And it says here, but then when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you should speak. It says, for it should be giving you that same how or what you should speak. For it's not ye that speak, but the spirit of the father which speak it in you. And the brother should deliver a brother to death and the father the child. And the children should rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death, man, okay? This shit is going to get real, brothers. Okay? It's getting ready to be up. You thought the C-19 divided people? Wait till the times we coming in, which directly affects people's livelihoods. Being able to buy, sell, and trade uh, uh, through taking this micro C hip, and we're telling you not to take it. That's gonna be an act of treason to this government, and that's gonna defect the very people that you're around from your family, your kids, your women. People are gonna have to make a choice, man. You're gonna have to choose a side. You either wit how about you, how shy, or you wit Satan, man, which is Esau in this world. And most people, they're going to go left, man, because they don't have the power and the mental fortitude in order to stand before these people and give a testimony of that, man. This is why the elect is going to make it through this thing. Because, hey, what we're saying is going to directly affect your loved ones. Oh, well, don't take the micro microchip because you ain't going to be at, uh, you ain't, you're going to get destroyed. But on the other hand, they're telling you, well, you need this in order to live, in order to own an apartment, a vehicle, a house, a car, to have food. People gonna feel a threat. They're gonna be like, nah, 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 we can't listen to what you're saying. I need to feed my kids. I have a two month year old baby. Um, and she's went three days without eating because of your message that you're telling people not to do. You're gonna starve people out. We gotta take the chips. So therefore, we gotta get rid of you. It's getting ready to be real, man. Okay? And it says, and the brother should deliver up the brother to death and the father the child. And the children should rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye should be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endured to the end, the same should be saved, man. So yeah, brothers, this is getting, this is gonna buckle down to life and death, brothers, man. And we gotta, we gotta hold firm, man. Because hey, we gonna get threatened <laughs> at the end of the sword, man. Which is a gun or a guillotine or have you themed uh, any way of violent act? Hey, Paul said that you have not resisted into death, man. Okay, so it's coming to the time we gonna have to resist unto death, man. And some of us, we gonna have to die for this word. So prepare your minds to deal with that, man. Okay? It is more than just speaking on the streets. Oh, I look good. I sound good. You got to really be about this truth, man. You got to pray like fucking hell that the Most High put that spirit on you to endure all the bullshit and the adversity that's getting ready to hit our doorstep, man. This time we coming in is going to determine whether you a man of the Lord or not. You going to punk out or you going to stand You going to stand up for the cause, man. All right? Revelation 20 and I'm going to start at verses 4 And I says I saw thrones and they that set upon them And judgment was given unto them And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded For the witness of Yahweh Shai And for the word of Yahweh Which had not worshipped the beast Neither his image Neither had received his mark upon their foreheads Or in their hands And they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai A thousand years man okay That's the scripture that Nate is butchering Alright but it's going to come a time that A hey, certain men in this thing And certain women you're going to have to be a martyr man all right, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be put to death for the for the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, uh, last precept, Revelation six and nine, it says, and when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh and that testimony which they had, going back into the ancient men of the Lord, man. With those men coming back today, and guess what? There's gonna be another form of persecution on us. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long will Yahweh Shai, holy and true? Does thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? It says, and white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they shall rest yet for a little season. And we're in a little season now. Until their fellow servants, also their brethren, that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. Man. So we coming into the time of mass persecution, and certain men and women, you're going to have to give your life for this truth, man. Not trying to be the bearer of bad news or trying to frighten any brothers, but hey, our lives are going to be at stake for standing up for your house shot. So with that, all praises and oh, she shut the fuck up. But anyway, all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai by Shimmer Kapadash. And with that, Shalom.